I had been in pain for so long and it was time for that to end and to begin again. All of this happened from a sports injury and that's not the way it's supposed to work. I originally hurt my ankle when I was uh, in, in high school, I was a freshman in high school. I injured at playing uh, basketball and went to the hospital, really wasn't diagnosed but a bad sprain went, uh, continued to play on it, did therapy, iced it, put heat. Um, two years went by, I couldn't, I couldn't walk basically after that. I continued to play sports and it just did not get better, it got worse. And I, I didn't listen to my own body. I had schools after me for scholarships, so I continued to play and went to a surgeon, the Baltimore Orioles orthopedic surgeon, and he did surgery within six days and had to do a total reconstruction and went about six months into it. Things started to happen again, breaking down. Um, bone chips would break off. There was, I had a continued problems. So then he did another surgery within a year. I had it fused twice. Uh, I had the total ankle replacement, actually the youngest in this country to have had it done. It was fine and then it cracked down both sides from the replacement. I had gone through every possible means of surgeries, therapies, you name it. I followed to the T what everyone said and it just wasn't working. I was in constant pain all of the time. I become a person I did not like because I guess I'm pretty positive and just it was very negative. You know, it was really affecting you know my own self. Dr. Meyerson recommended a bone graft be bone for me, a donor and some man-made to repair the total ankle replacement and he said, you know, with high hopes, we will, it will be six months non-weight bearing, only a 50-50 chance of it working. And then if it did and everything went perfect, then two years I would have maximum life out of this for two years. And then we'd be back to another replacement or, or something else. So I looked into the other options and the other option was the amputation. And I did a lot of research on the internet and uh, as many books as I could get. But there really, I didn't find a whole lot where someone was making the choice to have the amputation. It was because of um, diabetes or vascular disease or a tragedy, you know, a trauma, blunt trauma. There's a lot of people who tell you, don't do that, don't do that, you can't do that, but they don't know what it's like living with the pain all the time. Went through the surgery, it was very scary. Um, my husband stayed with me for a, a week at the hospital. I ended up having some complications and uh, with a lot of prayer and with my family, you know, they were very supportive. My son had a little bit of a hard time, but he, we all made it through. And then I found uh, Jonas and on the internet actually, this company, and I called, I emailed and I got an email back from Jonas and saying they thought he could help and so I contacted him and he, and he called me and spoke to me for probably an hour and it was wonderful. I knew then that we found the right place to be and we came down and talked to him and we knew right right then that this was this is where we were we were called to be. This was this was meant to be. And um, they were just wonderful. Everyone here has been wonderful. And I would not be where I'm at now without their encouragement and their faith in me. Um, I really wouldn't. I can walk. I am happy. I don't I don't have any of the pain whatsoever. And right back to being mom, running around and, and playing ball with them. And we go camping and hiking and all that and we're we're doing great. The only limitations are what I said. It's you know, it's attitude, you know, if you've got to want to do it, no one's gonna do it for you. But with a lot of prayer, a lot of faith, you get through it. It's, it's great. It is better now than I ever thought it could be. Ever. Ever.